Hey there, reviewer. We know your time is really limited, so we made a quick video to show you how the Gravity app functions as an actual digital scale and is not just a cheap gimmick. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate calibrating our digital weigh boat, weighing some objects, and tips and tricks for accurate measurements. First, I'd like to prove that the weights we're using today are, in fact, the weights that they purport to be. So that I'll be using this digital scale, which is accurate to a hundredth of a gram. This is a 100 gram calibrated weight. As you can see, it is perfectly 100 grams. We'll also be using four US quarters as part of our calibration. US quarters weigh about 5.6 grams each, so we should expect this total to come out to around 22.5 grams. Some quarters are a little over. I'll also be showing you weighing an Apple charger. This comes out to around 23 grams. Now that we've proven the weights, let's go through using the app. To calibrate, we're going to start with our metal spoon. You might be asking why a metal spoon? Good question. The spoon provides a basket in which to weigh items, and the back of the spoon provides a nice capacitive touch point, which the screen can register, and this helps with our accuracy. Everyone also has a spoon so it works as a good household object. To calibrate, place the spoon on the screen, press next, and then place each quarter into the basket. Afterwards, we'll be told if calibration was successful or not. This one was successful. If it wasn't, we would get the option to recalibrate. From here, we're ready to go. We take the same spoon, we place it on the screen gently, and we tear if needed. Then we add our weight. As you can see, the gravity scale is accurate when calibrated successfully, but it's important to keep in mind that while the digital scale purports to be accurate to a hundredth of a gram, gravity only purports to be accurate to three grams when calibrated well. This is important to keep in mind. This doesn't mean that gravity is not useful for those trying to make accurate measurements though. It's important when say measuring letters to know which weight class it falls into, which generally goes by ounces. When weighing multiple items or changing the weight, it's important to remove the item and replace it on the screen. If removing an item to replace it with a new one, it's important again to remove the spoon and add it again to the screen. And we're working on making this easier for users. Let's go ahead and weigh this 23 gram US Apple charger. Let's replace the spoon. Let's weigh this 100 gram weight again and add these four quarters, which total around 22 grams. As you can see, the measurement is not completely accurate, but if we replace the spoon, we should get a better reading. 